Tencent is a colossal company based in China that operates across various industries. Their flagship app, WeChat, is widely used in China for numerous purposes like messaging, financial transactions and entertainment. However, Tencent's close ties with the Chinese government raise concerns. Tencent's story underscores the complexities of modern technology and its intersection with politics and commerce. Let's explore more about this topic. Pony Ma's journey with Tencent. Pony Ma, the CEO of Tencent, isn't someone you'd likely recognize on the street like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. He's deliberately low-key, preferring to keep out of the public eye, unlike some other tech moguls. This is partly because Tencent operates in a delicate balance between appeasing both Chinese authorities and global audiences. In such a situation, it's often safer for Ma to stay silent rather than risk controversy. Ma's journey began humbly. As a child, he was reserved and more interested in coding than seeking attention. His knack for coding gained him some recognition when he hacked into his university's computers. Later, he developed a software program for forecasting stock prices, which showed his early entrepreneurial spirit. Yet, Tencent's origins weren't exactly groundbreaking. In 1998, Ma and his friends stumbled upon ICQ, an internet chat platform. Inspired, they launched their version, tailored for the Chinese market, dubbing it OICQ. Despite initial hurdles, including legal threats, Tencent pressed on. With millions flocking to OICQ, Tencent faced the challenge of making money. Traditional methods like banner ads and subscription fees failed to take off. However, the introduction of QQ Show, allowing users to personalize avatars, changed everything. Microtransactions from virtual item sales turned QQ into a cash cow. QQ's success not only propelled Tencent into the tech stratosphere, but also had a personal impact on Ma. He met his future wife through the platform, showing the tangible effects of Tencent's products. However, Tencent's journey was far from over. Enter Microsoft, a tech behemoth and formidable competitor. The stage was set for a tech showdown, marking the next chapter in Tencent's remarkable story. Pony Ma's transition from a reserved coder to the helm of Tencent is a testament to perseverance and ingenuity. Despite facing legal and financial challenges, Tencent thrived, reshaping the tech landscape both domestically and globally. Tencent versus Microsoft in the chat arena. In the year 2004, a formidable challenger stepped onto the battlefield of China's chat services, Microsoft's MSN. This entry into the fray posed a significant threat to Tencent's QQ, primarily due to Microsoft's vast wealth and resources. Unlike Tencent, Microsoft had decided to double down on its efforts in China, recognizing it as a colossal market ripe with opportunities. MSN's chat service, characterized by its professionalism and streamlined interface, quickly garnered attention, particularly among businesses and students. In contrast, QQ was perceived more as a casual chat app rather than a serious communication tool. Despite MSN's initial strides, Tencent held a critical advantage, agility. While MSN's decision-making process was hindered by corporate bureaucracy, Tencent operated with the nimbleness of a startup. This allowed them to swiftly implement user-friendly features such as offline messaging, a capability that MSN's sluggish decision-making couldn't match. Furthermore, Tencent's use of local servers made QQ faster and more responsive compared to MSN, which relied on distant servers, adding latency to the user experience. One of MSN's critical missteps was its integration of the chat service into the MSN Live platform which only served to confuse users and introduce unnecessary complexity. Despite Microsoft's considerable resources, its focus on other global battles diverted attention from China, allowing Tencent to capitalize on its single-minded dedication to the market. Ultimately, Tencent emerged victorious in this clash of titans, surpassing half a billion users by late 2005 and solidifying its dominance in the chat market. This triumph marked a pivotal turning point for Tencent, propelling them toward Pony Ma's ambitious vision of creating a comprehensive internet ecosystem.
With a strategic investment of $32 million from NASPERS, Tencent received the financial boost needed to fuel its expansion plans. This infusion of capital laid the groundwork for Tencent's transformation from a mere chat platform to a multifaceted internet behemoth. The victory over Microsoft not only secured Tencent's dominance in the chat market, but also set the stage for its unprecedented growth and innovation. Gaming, power plays and strategic shifts. Recognising that many users engaged with QQ while gaming, Tencent ventured into the gaming realm, both by acquiring existing games and developing new ones. Leveraging its active user base, Tencent swiftly integrated games into QQ, resulting in a significant boost of $50 million in annual revenue within just one year. Their rapid expansion in the gaming market was facilitated by their status as a Chinese company, benefiting from China's internet restrictions and regulations favouring local companies. In China, foreign companies seeking to enter the market often require partnerships with local entities. This policy gave Tencent a strategic advantage, allowing them to forge partnerships with successful international game developers and adapt their games for the Chinese audience. By licensing these games, Tencent quickly generated substantial revenue without the need to develop games from scratch. However, Tencent also ventured into game development, creating their versions of popular games like QQ Speed inspired by titles such as Mario Kart. This approach proved lucrative as Tencent retained full profits while minimizing risks by replicating proven game concepts. Furthermore, Tencent capitalized on the lack of stringent piracy enforcement in China by offering free-to-play games with in-game purchases. This monetization model, now commonplace, allowed Tencent to generate continuous revenue from microtransactions, ensuring sustained growth. In 2004, Tencent went public on the Hong Kong stock market, providing substantial funds for further expansion. Despite its financial success, Tencent's demanding work culture, characterized by long hours and high expectations, fostered a culture of innovation and excellence. Pony Ma emphasized hiring top talent and fostering a culture of idea pitching and innovation throughout the company. Tencent's aggressive expansion and fierce competition, however, led to controversies and clashes with other companies. A notable feud with Kihu over security software resulted in Tencent leveraging its dominance to stifle competition. This approach, while criticized, proved effective, further solidifying Tencent's market dominance. Recognizing the need for a strategic shift, Tencent transitioned from direct competition to strategic investments in Chinese companies. Tencent became a pivotal player in shaping China's digital landscape. This approach reduced operational complexity while consolidating Tencent's position as a dominant force in the market. Thus, Tencent evolved from a mere chat platform into a multifaceted internet giant, epitomizing the power of strategic vision and adaptability in the ever-evolving digital world. From pioneering the integration of gaming into chat platforms to revolutionizing monetization through in-game purchases, Tencent demonstrated a keen understanding of market dynamics and user behavior. Despite facing controversies and challenges along the way, Tencent's resilience and determination propelled it to unprecedented heights of success. By adopting a culture of innovation and fostering a collaborative environment, Tencent not only achieved market dominance, but also became a catalyst for growth in China's tech industry. If you found this video informative and engaging, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.